Hello everyone, this is Sal here. If you're new to my channel, then a very warm welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber of mine, then thank you so much for your support. Um, so over the last week here in Scotland, it's been very dark and rainy and a little bit miserable, if I'm honest. So I thought it might be fun to go through some perfumes, which I think would be the ultimate like mood lifting and um, soothing, enjoyable scents to wear during the rainy weather. So first up on my list is Athalia by Parfum de Marly. Oh, this is such a beautiful perfume. Um, so Lizzie over at Rose and Jones was um, kind enough to send me a sample of this and I'm extremely grateful for that so thank you very much Lizzie. It's an absolutely gorgeous scent. Um, very powdery but not a dry powder, it's smooth, sweet and creamy almost. Um, in fact today um, I was uptown with my sister and um, <laughs> she was like oh wow I can really smell the makeup you're wearing. And I was kind of like, is it my perfume? And she smelt it and she was like, oh no, it, yeah, it's the perfume that really smells like makeup. So um, maybe that'll give you an idea of, you know, kind of how it smells. It's a very um, feminine cosmetic kind of vibe to it. So if you enjoy um, the sort of smell of makeup, powders, lipsticks, that sort of thing, then this might be up your street. Next up on my list is uh, Valentina Poudre by Valentino. Um, it's funny because this one actually to me smells fairly similar to Athalia um, so I think they're quite good to layer you know if I've sprayed one then I can easily just spray another one over top or like maybe spray them in different places so, so like one of them on my wrists and then the other one kind of here or something like that because I do think that they meld very well together they're both um, I suppose very centered around powdery aspects they both have a very cosmetic uh, sort of vibe about them while they are very similar there's obviously differences between the two of them so I'll list maybe what those main differences are but um, to me when I first smelled the little sample of Athalia like it actually did come to mind like I did think oh wow that's really similar to something what's that like and then I realized oh it's actually reminding me a lot of this which I'm really happy about because I, I fell in love with Athalia and then I realized how similar it was to this like to my nose anyway um, and then I just felt really happy because I thought oh I've got something you know kind of similar to Athalia that I can reach for and obviously this is uh, a much lower price point so if you're wanting something um, you know, which gives you know, a similar sense to Athalia, then maybe give this one a try. Um, so this is a really cosy, powdery fragrance, very, very feminine, um, flirty, I suppose, and it's just the ultimate kind of mood lifter for a dark and rainy day. Um, so the next one on my list, I suppose, is coming from quite a different place. Like those two were very um, kind of soft, sweet, powdery sort of scents, but this is very different to those. So the one I've chosen for number three is Chalamar Souffle de Parfum. Now, the reason I chose this is because if you've seen my Enchanted Forest themed video, um, I do mention that one in there as well, because it reminds me of the morning dew on grass. So if you were out in like a magical forest and you came to like a forest clearing, and um, all the fairies had been out putting dew on all of the grass and it just had this very sweet, airy, um, slightly fresh but uh, quite sweet and creamy as well. This is just utterly amazing and actually it does remind me of the rain a little bit but in a very positive way. It's almost as if, if you think of like happy rain, that's what this reminds me of. Because um, this souffle in French is to breathe or breath or something like that so this evokes a sense of kind of fresh air um, easy breathing um, nature perhaps the wind really beautiful aspects like that and I do feel to, cer to a certain extent that that could almost go hand in hand with the rain um, so if you just imagine you're kind of outside um, and there's a downpour but instead of kind of running away and seeking shelter you sort of embrace it and have a little dance in the rain sweet lemon musk and and vanilla as well so those are the three main aspects to this fragrance um but the lemon in here is not a sharp lemon it's the smoothest and i don't usually like citrus smells at all but this has actually been a game changer for me in that sense because this has shown me lemon done in a fragrance really to my taste um actually so oh, i 
love the scent so much. Next up on my list is a really fun one and that is La Petite Robe Noir Intense. Uh, almost larger than life, very kind of out there scent. It's syrupy, sweet, fruity from the blueberries and um, I guess sweet from the candy floss. But don't be fooled because this is a very complex scent as well and um, because for that reason I actually find it quite difficult to explain because yeah I this perfume is just so magical it's very very sweet <sighs> syrupy <sighs> this fragrance is so nice I actually haven't worn this properly in a while I'm just gonna wear some just now but yeah, this is a powerhouse scent for sure. If you want to get noticed, if you want to um, fill up a room, and if you want to leave a sweet scent trail, then this is the one for you for sure. Definitely give this a go. I've never smelled anything like this. It's very kind of, <sighs> very girly, girly fragrance. And that is La Petite Robe Noir Intense. Next up is uh, Grand Soir by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. Now, oh, this scent is amazing. When I read about it online, I thought that it would be an instant love for me because there's lots of notes in here that I just absolutely adore, like the vanilla, the benzoin, the kind of sweet, rich, warm aspects of it. And it is really nice. However, when I first tried it, I was a bit um, thrown off by the uh, spiciness to this fragrance. There is definitely quite significant a spice to this which I wasn't expecting at all really from it but that does die down so it kind of after a while the spiciness is sort of um, gives way to more of that just warm sweetness um, kind of oozing just from that vanilla um, it's, it's almost a little bit boozy yeah I've been wearing this I wore this yesterday um, and it is actually it's quite good for mood lifting like it kind of just comforts you when the weather is a bit dark i think this would be absolutely fabulous for the winter time um any day when it's a bit dark and rainy and grand soir would just be just utterly wonderful next up is girl of now by ellie saab this is such a great cold weather scent um or again just if it's rainy and a bit miserable and you kind of want cheered up so Girl of Now is a very sweet, nutty, um, thick fragrance. I'm not sure if it has pistachios or almonds in here, I'll need to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's actually pistachios that they use to give it that nuttiness. It almost reminds me a bit of like marzipan, a sweet marzipan um, rich dessert this one here quite flirty quite enticing it's the sort of thing that if you smell on somebody you would want to get closer to them um so i think yeah this would probably be great for a date it's just the bottle is beautiful as well i love the attention to detail for this bottle like the faceted glass here and then the details here these could almost be raindrops if you're enjoying this video and absolutely love perfume like myself please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Uh, next up is one of my kind of favourites, I mean I have so many favourites but this is definitely a favourite, <laughs> it's Prada Candy. Uh, I love this fragrance, I'm kind of annoyed that I got the 30ml, I don't know why I didn't buy the 50ml, I should have done, anyway. If you imagine um, if fragrance was a light this would be a very dimly lit fragrance so it's definitely got a presence but it's not a, a bright presence at all it's more of like a, if you imagine a, a cozy bar in some kind of comfy seats um, and it's candle lit that sort of mood that's what this is in a fragrance um, so I think oh, it's just it's so nice I really like the scent so the main notes in here are caramel and powder with benzoin I think so it's heaven for me because I love um, those kind of rich sort of caramelly yeah benzoin type scents um, it only has a few notes it might even just be those three notes but I'll double check and I think because they've only focused on the few notes it gives them more of a chance to shine um, they haven't overloaded it with different florals or anything like that. They've really just allowed those few notes to kind of speak for themselves. Kind of fuzzy, warm, caramel, powdery, like kind of, again, a cosmetic -y makeup vibe, but with lots of caramel. Uh, next up is another powdery fragrance, uh, and that is Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. 
If you watch my channel you might have seen my first impressions video I did of this and sort of like review I guess. I really like this fragrance, it's so nice. Mysterious smelling sweet lipstick. It just it smells quite like sweet lipstick if I'm honest with you. This is a really nice fragrance, very very feminine, womanly, beautiful, powdery, smooth, creamy fragrance. Next up is the wonderful Roses Vanille. This was love at first sniff for me. Um, and you really do get what it says on the tin with this. Um, so, you know, straight up Roses Vanilla, but there's also notes of sugar in here um, to give it just that lovely sweetness. And also um, in the top notes, there's actually an aquatic note. So it gives it almost a translucence when you initially smell it like rose water. But then when it dries down, it becomes much more like a heavy on the vanilla, like heavy kind of gourmand cakiness. It's, oh, it's amazing. I love this fragrance so much. It's lovely. Uh, Longevity's fab. Uh, Siage, great. As is, you know, with most of the Mansara fragrances. Um, let me know if you would agree with that. Like, if you think that... Because I, it's, you know, everything I've tried by uh, Mansara has been pretty good longevity. It's beautiful. So, of course, you know, if the weather's a bit dark and you're feeling a bit down this is the way to go it's kind of a mood lifter um a little treat sweet lovely and long lasting that is roses vanille and next up we have Lancome la vie belle le clat this is pretty different to all the ones that i've just been talking about this is a bright quite floral um a bright happy a happy smiling face fragrance really so i think if you're wanting something to kind of pierce through that dark day and you're wanting just something to light up your mood, light up your day, this is great. Um, it also has a professionalism to it, which I enjoy for wearing to work. Um, this is just such a nice, easy reach for kind of any occasion. And the thing I like about this one as well, and this is going to sound a bit strange maybe, but I have no sort of like real emotional attachment to this. This is just such a good one for everyday life. Um, not really a special occasion or anything like that, but any sort of formal thing that you need to go to work, anything like that, this is great. You know, if you wear your favourite fragrance out and you have like not a, the best experience or something, you might then associate that feeling or that experience with that scent. I don't know, just maybe. So that's why I quite like this for work or for anywhere that's um, not, you know, a fun and games, like just sort of practical sort of situations um so yeah this is really long lasting it projects really well it's a very just bright sunshiny fragrance it's got lots of orange blossom in here so it's sweet rounded but still quite bright in a, like a zesty way but it's rounded off with lots of kind of vanilla and sweetness um but yeah overall i would say this is kind of a bright sweet floral great to sort of brighten your mood let me know if you've tried any of these if you have any suggestions for myself, whether it be, um, you know, fragrances I should try or any videos you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comments. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I'd absolutely love for you to join me. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.